Hello everyone and welcome to a very special day here in Baguio City. We at the Baguio Channel are thrilled to document this historical event. It's September 8, 2023 and today we're here to celebrate the grand opening of the Baguio City Post Office Park, a green oasis right in the heart of our beautiful city. Welcome to the grand opening of the Baguio City Post Office Park. This has been turned into a reality by the dedication of many people who work tirelessly to make it happen. In this video, we've included a walking tour of the park, inspiring speeches, including from our mayor and other key figures who played a crucial role in bringing this park to life. The mayor talks about this park and other improvements being worked on by the city. But before we dive into all the formal activities, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer beauty of this place. From the moment you step foot into Baguio City Post Office Park, you'll be greeted by lush vegetation and a pathway, a true heaven for nature enthusiasts, families, and everyone in between. This park is more than just a place for leisure. It's a symbol of community, unity, and progress. It's a space where people can come together connect with nature and create lasting memories right in the heart of the city. So, if you want to witness history, join us in celebrating the opening of the Baguio City Post Office Park and discover all the wonders it has to offer. Stay tuned as we embark on this exciting journey through Baguio City's newest gem and let's celebrate the unity, progress and green beauty that is the Baguio City Post Office Park. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any updates on this incredible park and other exciting events in Baguio City. Now let's get on with this celebration. <laughs> beloved uh, city mayor Benji Magano, our guest yes. of honor, attorney Walter Mattal, and uh, his uh, beautiful wife. The wife of uh, the mayor is also here, Ma Arlene, our vice mayor, Hosting Oloan, our uh, city councilors, attorney Betty Tabanda, and uh, Ma'am Lydia Sarinias, Ma'am Belady Febrano, our BTC Chair, Ma'am Gladys Vergara de Vera, and our Barangay Officials, headed by uh, Kappa Nina Ganasi, our City Tourism Officer, Sir Alec Napalo, to our distinguished guests, media, ladies and gentlemen, our contractor, BGC Field Builders, and to our uh, distinguished guests, good afternoon. So, we thank uh, the Lord for this beautiful weather, for allowing us to celebrate this momentous occasion, this opening of this uh, post office park with this beautiful weather. Today, we gather to celebrate the revitalization of this space into a beautiful park that we serve as a recreational heaven for our community. To formally start the program, may I call on Engineer Jacqueline Tino for the invocation. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we gather here today with grateful hearts, surrounded by the beauty of this new park. We thank you for the gift of nature and for the vision and effort that has brought this place to life. May this park be a sanctuary for all who enter a place of joy, rest, and renewal. Bless the hands that work to create it and the hearts that will cherish it. We pray for safety and harmony within these grounds, that families, friends, and visitors may find solace in the embrace of nature and one another. Grant wisdom to those who will steward this park, that they may care for it with love and responsibility, 
preserving its splendor for generations to come. As we embark on this new journey, may this park be a testament to your magnificent creation and a reminder of the blessings that surround us each day. In your holy name we pray. Amen. We may take our seats, ladies and gentlemen. We'd also like to acknowledge our DOT car director, Ma'am Jovi Ganoman, together with our seven or department head, Attorney Renan Diwas, and the team. So before we proceed to the next speaker, let us take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to all the individuals, organizations, and government entities who have contributed to the transformation of the Barrio Post Office Park. Your unwavering support and dedication have made this project a reality, and we are grateful for your commitment to enhancing our city's public spaces. Newport World Resorts Foundation, headed by Attorney Walter McPal, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, the City of Baguio, through the leadership of Mayor Benji Magalong, our Sangguniang Panlungsod, headed by our Vice Mayor Tino Olowan, and our Honorable City Council, the City Planning and Development Sustainability Office. To warmly welcome us in our program, let us call on the Honorable Vice Mayor Faustino A. Olowan. Thank you, Madam. Of course, uh, I think all the VIPs uh, were already acknowledged. Of course, our uh, speaker for today, the donor, Attorney Walter Mattal, and uh, his speaker hat. Thank you for. Uh, the, for the meeting, the amount to maganda natin ang park natin. And of course, uh, that cannot happen uh, without the initiative of our uh, very own mayor, Norovala P.G. Magadong Sir. And of course, to all the stakeholders, the city, especially special mention of uh, the Tourism Council, he did my uh, mom Gladys C. Bergat Bira. All the stakeholders. We have here also the captain of uh, Salud Mitra Gorangat, Madam Lida Galassi. The department heads who are with us. Ma'am Dona Tabangin, you see, Priscilla, Nakira, Namat Malano, Dito. So let us give, give them a big, big hand of applause. Of course, si Atty. Rina Diwas, palakpakan natin. At saka mga lahat ng stakeholders, especially the tourism uh, group. Dito naman ang kapulisan natin and of course, uh, guests na uh, nandito sa atin. We should have done this last September 1st. Pero malakang ulan din naman. So after this, we will proceed at the uh, upper right park in the Luangati Barangay. So lahat sa atin ngayon, um, siguro by just look at, uh, looking around, by our Tony Kitt eyes, ganda-ganda ngayon ang... Uh, Post Office uh, Park. Palakpakan po natin. And of course, uh, according to our Honorable Mayor, hindi ito ang huli because uh, funds were allocated for the uh, anong tawag dyan? Yes, uh, para pagandahin natin ang Post Office. Eh, I think it is identified as uh, a heritage building in the city of Baguio. 
So probably we are looking at it for one year by the end of our term in 2025. Tapos na yan. So with that, uh, welcome to everyone in the inauguration of this uh, park. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Honorable Vice Mayor Faustino Olowan, for the warm welcome. We would like to acknowledge the arrival of uh, our city administrator, Sir Bonnie de la Peña. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to deliver his message as the donor of this post office park, join me in welcoming attorney Walter L. Mactal, the executive director of Newport World Resorts Foundation. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, everyone, city officials, barangay officials, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of the Port World Resorts Foundation, we are honored to be part of this project, and we are proud to be part of this at Lingling in the Post Office Park. Through the help of Parkour and the support of Parkour, uh, we were able to to in our own little way contribute to the Baguio community. And uh, it is our hope and it's our, the harbor dream that somehow we are able to create a lasting impact on Baguio City. Baguio City is, in fact, no stranger to the Import World Resource Foundation. We previously worked with the Philippine Military Academy in completing a four-story cadet barracks here in Baguio City. Right now, we are also developing the Alumni Association, uh, another building for the Alumni Center of the Philippine Military Academy. And of course, Baguio City is very close to the heart of Newport World Resorts. In fact, uh, some of our employees, some of our executives came from Baguio City. Uh, throughout the decades, We've noticed that uh, Baguio City has evolved and grown uh, into this vibrant community, nurtured by the dedication of the residents and, of course, by the energy of the tourists, both local and foreign. As we move forward uh, in the next coming months, in the next coming years, we will definitely visit Baguio City again and we will definitely enjoy it. And in whatever way we can, uh, in your city officials, uh, with our foundation, we'll be more than happy to work with you, with the city, uh, and hopefully to create more lasting impact to the public city. Mabuhay din kayo. Thank you very much, Honorable Vice Mayor Walter L. Mactal, the Executive Director of Newport World Resorts Foundation. To give the message of acceptance, join me in welcoming our beloved City Mayor, Benji B. Magalan. And now we greet our special guest for today's event, the Beer and Party. Walter. It's now the wife, no, the VIPs are behind me, no longer uh, special, special, uh, distinguished guests. Magandang hapo po sa inyo dahan. Magandang hapo, Brian. Oh, okay, very good. Dengan <laughs> <laughs> Brian dito, tapi ka rito sa akin, kasi ikaw mag-accept. <laughs> Brian, are you now accepting this part? Yes! So you can take your seat, Ryan. You've done your part. Anyway, uh, first of all, I would like to thank Newport uh, Resort World Foundation for funding this 10 million project. This is a 10 million project. Kaya lang, hindi patapos ito. Hindi patapos. Oh, palitan pa natin ito. Naka-primer pa lang ito eh. Marami pang ayusin dito. Marami pang gagawin si uh, Renan dito. 
And second is we would like to thank Pacor under the leadership of Ma Madam Andrea Domingo. Siya talaga nang nakakandating. During our first meeting, immediately, siya talaga nang nakakagam ng 10 million for this. Let me also thank first ating city planning, si Donna Tabangin, for assisting Sheko in designing this poem. Finally, of course, these are the people who really made it happen. Team Sheko, Serena, Thank you very much. Kawawa naman sila sa akin. And of course, our 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 contractor, say for nothing, contractors, engineer, malis na ba? BGC. City Builders in JB San Chagos, sir, the president. Thank you, thank you very much. Pero hindi pa tapos ang trabaho mo rin. Maraming na paggagawin. Well, this is just one of the first. And if you notice, nakita nyo siguro permeable. You walk away, nakita nyo walk away. These are what we call nature-based solution. And this is the first part that we are implementing this nature-based solution. Bakit nature-based solution? We're preparing for what was going to happen in the city of Baguio 10 years from now. Because we expect, based on our modeling, climate modeling, we expect a 23% increase in our rainfall. So, naalala nyo, last year, parang naging uh, river to. River to last session. Road. And can you just imagine, 10 years from now, that would be a regular current in the Baguio. If we're not going to do anything about it, and that's why, nakita nyo ngayon, this is, we're testing this, kaya nakita nyo, permeable siya para yung ilan pag te-penetrate sa ground. And later on, recharge more groundwater. Ganon din yung gagawin namin doon sa Aguinaldo Park, ay kapitan na Nida, Velasco. Sa kanila rin ito, yung park na ito. Pero pa doon sa Aguinaldo Park, or in, we're spending 5 million pesos just for a technical study. Anong gagawin ito? 5 million just for the planning and designing. Huwag kayo mag-alala, hindi galing sa local government yung pera na yun. Nahingi lang natin yun. So, we're going to put the first, first of this kind also, lalagyan natin ng rainwater harvesting facility sa ilalim that would be filtered and we're going to use that water to recharge our groundwater at sa as-as naman nun, may partner. The good news is, while we are inaugurating this, tumawag naman yung ating kaibigan sa Pagkor at sinabi niya, Mayor, meron ka na namang 20 million for another development project, this time from the city of dreams naman. So, kaya na lang natin kung saan dadali and one of the suggestions is Sunshine Park. Lalagyan din natin ang fountain ground. We're getting a lot of help and probably you heard it only Walter. Pinanggit siya kanina, this will not be the last time. That will not be the last time. Siguro, so patalayin na na. So, I had a dialogue with the ICT. Ayusin na rin nila yun. And then finally, nakita na rin natin yung sinabi ni Vice Mayor kanina. Finally, nagkita kami ng post-bagong postmaster general. We already submitted yung plan ito. So they will be coming over with technical people niya in the next two weeks. So hopefully, we'll be able to fix everything. Si Siti Han, can I request your help para ayusin yung side ito naman dito? Kailangan natin bigyan ng priority yung side ito. So those are the things that we're going to expect in the city of Baguio for the next three years. We're going to develop and renovate, rehabilitate all our parks because this is something that we are really proud of in the city of Baguio. We also have to make sure that our trees are well maintained. So right now, we have a five million project for the tree maintenance in the entire city, especially in the park. Kaya nakikita yung minikot na inaayos nila kung paano natin pagandahin yung mga trees natin para hindi siya parang wild. So maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. God bless you. Thank you very much, beloved Mayor Benji Magano.
for sharing your dreams and vision for Baguio City, which overflows to each and every one of us today. Before we unveil the marker for the post office park, may I call our city planner, architect Domo Art Barnim, for the overview of this project. Good afternoon for everyone. Hello. So I was asked for to talk about uh, the context of why we designed this park, uh, like what you see right now. But I went further, Paul. I tried to research on the history of the post office park. So I went as far back as 1901 to check uh, the Vernon plan or the city, if there was a mention of a post office park. There was none of because uh, the Burnham plan was already uh, very specific of the Burnham Park because that would become the central part of Baguio City. And Burnham was talking of the business machine surrounding Burnham Park that would mean uh, Session Road as well as um, we have Kisad Road on the other side. So this means for that um, ang appearance ng post office park was something uh, somewhere within the years of 1940s to 1950. And this looked like a lawn, so green space pusha, and it was adjacent to the lawn of the cathedral. But why is it that we have lawns? And this becomes for the forefront or the frontage of very special buildings. Uh, the reason why it's called the post office park is because we have this heritage structure behind us, which is the uh, monumental structure behind the park. Yet po uh, uh, ang art, uh, art and the uh, architecture of Daniel Burnham. So uh, when we were planning this park, uh, of course, uh, we also were looking at the future use of this space. Now, you can see that this is uh, right in the middle of, of the business machine, as Burnham was talking. Yeah, this is prime property. But, we really decided that this should be an open space in Canada. So, so that there's a breathing space in this area of the city. So uh, we went back to the history of Baguio during the American time, and we were repeating the story about the parades, especially during Independence Day. And the parades started right there in the circle when it went down session. And this area served as an area where the people may sit and watch the parade. And we, we thought that we should develop it that way, that there are seating areas, as you can see from here, and on the other side there, so that when we have Panagdeng and other parades or what happened, there would be areas where people can sit down and enjoy the parade and have a first-hand view of what's happening there. So that's the intention of the park, to be a breathing space here in the central business district, but also to be a, uh, a city area, a best area for us to be able to watch what's happening along the streets or along the session room. So, you can intention of this design, and I hope that the people of Hawaii will get to appreciate that intention and would get to use it as originally one of them. Now, uh, one thing for which uh, we would like to say, and this is something which um, Attorney Redder and I have been talking about, since this is a part of all, and of course we need to take care of plants, and that means for that we have to be patient of how this part will look like 10 years or 5 years in the short term time now. Um, we have to give space for, for nature to grow, and uh, maybe in 5 years' time or 10 years' time, we will see what this really would look like as a green park in the space of the city. So we can plant for time and uh, <laughs> let's allow uh, the plants to grow and uh, we will get to see how it should look like as a central area for green space. So you can design the intention and uh, we're glad for that um, if it was funded. Our next um, work book is to work on the conservation of the post office park and probably to come from with the diocese that we will fill the green areas this space because I didn't want it to be heritage. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the witnessing the rhythm cutting of the We'd like to extend our congratulations to the city government of Baguio, led by Mayor Benjamin Magalong, with Vice Mayor Faustino Olowan and members of the city council, City Administrator Bonifacio de la Peña, Department of Tourism Cordillera Region Director Jovi Ganongan, Baguio Tourism Council President Gladys Vergara and Attorney Walter McTall of the Newport Resorts World Foundation Incorporated and Bloomberry Cultural Foundation Incorporated. The rehabilitation was made possible through the generous donations of the Newport World Resorts Foundation Incorporated and Bloomberry Cultural Foundation Incorporated. And once again, thank you for watching. If you like our content on the Baguio channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any updates on this incredible park and other exciting events in Baguio City.